and welcome to Dan Bradbury TV, the internet's most passionate blog for coaches, trainers, consultants, and speakers, people like us. And in today's amazing episode, you have asked and I have listened. In today's show, we're gonna be showing you exactly what you need to do to create money-making products just like these. In fact, by the time this episode is out, you will know exactly what to do to get your first or your next money-making product made, produced, published, and available for purchase online in under one hour. And if that's not all, I'm also gonna show you how to get paid for making your first product. All in today's show. So let's get around the other side of the table without tripping myself up on the infinite cables that we've got here and get down to business. All right, so uh, being really professional and having memorized my lines, let me look at my notes. Oh yes, so the first thing we need to talk about is warning. In this video, I'm gonna be saying some things that are very contrary to what a lot of the product gurus would have you believe. I'm gonna be showing you a few different ways that you can achieve the same outcome called creating fantastic products that help get you clients and make you money quickly and easily. And it's gonna go, it's gonna fly in the face of a lot of what you've uh, shown before. So on this table are just a selection of, uh, a small selection of some of my products. I'll show you some more in the other office in a little while. But uh, the first thing I wanna do is tell you a bit of a horror story dum 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 um, of my first product in my previous business to this one I had an accelerated learning company and after having worked extremely hard to uh, create uh, a business and do a lot of training I recognized that I was I was just trading my time for money and if I really wanted to succeed at the highest level it was gonna be important for me to leverage myself. And I knew that I could leverage myself through the creation of products. So I did what a lot of people do when they're making their first product. I decided I needed to make the best product in the world, ever. 24, sorry, bad joke. So, um, uh, uh, so what I did was I went into a studio. I hired a professional recording studio so I could make a professional product. And I went in there, and I was in the United States doing some work for a client at the time, and I went in there at the cost of $300 an hour to create this first product, a one CD product, the best of what I knew in accelerated learning. I was in there for five and a half hours of pure joy. Uh, five and a half hours later, do you know how much I'd recorded? Less than 20 minutes worth. Here's why, I got in the studio and I'd mapped out what I wanted to say and I was saying it and as soon as I would, uh, I'd go, oh, damn it, gotta start again. And then every tiny little word I'd go, oh, that's not good enough, start again. And we just did it again and again and again and again because I was missing one of the most fundamental rules when it comes to product creation. And that is, uh, in regards to the creation, the people are interested in the information more than the delivery. As long as delivery is palatable, uh, if the information is great, you can get away with a load. Just look at this TV program, for example. Um, so I was w uh, spent a lot of money to create a professional product when I really just needed to A, know that that product would sell, and B, focus on delivering quality information that people could immediately use and listen to. So I spent five and a half hours in the studio at $300 an hour. So what's that, 15, $1,650. I spent another several hundred dollars getting the insert design and getting some printed up. So bottom line, almost two and a half thousand dollars later, I have this fantastic product. Do you know how many I sold? None, zero, because I was missing the most fundamental rule when it comes to selling your products, which is make sure that somebody wants to buy it before you make the darn product. Or even better, using the strategy I'm gonna share with you later in this video and show yourself how to, in fact, I think it's next in this video, and show yourself how to get paid to make your product. You're with me on this? So, uh, let me tell you on that basis, let me tell you how to get paid for your product. And let me do this by telling a story about my first ever product in this business. I created a fantastic product called cash for coaches. Now, I'm gonna share this with you very briefly, but just because it's brief, 
don't underestimate its potency, okay? This is how I got paid 12,000 pounds to create my first product. I got paid to create this. Do you know what I did? I put on a seminar. I marketed the seminar and then I recorded it using what I'm about to te teach you next. So calm down, be patient. Uh, I recorded it and turned it, turned it into an eight CD set. So how does this mean I got paid for creating my first product? It's very simple. If you can't, if you're not successful at getting a few people, a handful of people to pay to attend a workshop on a topic, it's very unlikely you'll be able to send, uh, um, excuse me, sell the end result. So I managed to get uh, approximately 50 people to pay me to come to this workshop. And then at that workshop, I also sold uh, back ongoing coaching with me. So from that workshop, I made around 12,000 pounds. And, and that allowed me to create the content and deliver the content and give me the incentive, the motivation to hit a deadline for creating the content. And by the way, performing for an audience, a live audience is much easier than it is to camera or in a studio because you can see people's faces. You can interact and get a feel for if they're liking it or if they're not. And I tend to be more dynamic, more passionate when I'm in front of a real live audience. It's easier to engage with them and make sure that you're on the mark. So bottom line, I created a better product. I got paid for doing it. And all I did was use a simple MP3 recorder. I actually used uh, one like this, which is a, uh, a Roland uh, Eddie Roll R09. A Roland Eddie Roll R09. I'll uh, see if I can put a link below for you for where you can get one of these. This is just an MP3 recorder. You can get much cheaper ones. This one costs almost 300 pounds, but you can get them on Amazon, MP3 recorders, digital MP3 recorders, for as little as 50, 60 quid, which are perfectly acceptable. So I got this MP3 recorder, and all I literally did to record the workshop was buy a lapel microphone, like this one, uh, which is the one that I've got on now, actually, and I think this cost 20 quid. 20 quid, or maybe 25 pounds, um, if you really want to break the bank, from again from Amazon, just go to Amazon and Google lapel microphone. I don't even know what this one is. I just Googled lapel microphone and bought the one at the top of the list. Um, it plugs straight into the MP3 recorder, and literally I would hit record, put it in my pocket. I'd have the lapel buttoned on up here. Hello, hello. Um, I'd have it uh, uh, buttoning up here. I would deliver my presentation, hit stop at the end, and then you plug it into your computer with a USB cable that comes with the MP3 recorder. Lo and behold, you've got MP3 files on your computer. So now your audio product is recorded. Recorded. Now we're not going to talk about video in, in this, uh, not going to talk about video in this video or about um, creating manuals and products, uh, um, uh, written word. We're just talking about audio products because they're the easiest, quickest, and give you the biggest bang for your book in terms of financial return on investment. So that's how you, how I recorded this product, Cash for Coaches. And this product, because I was able to sell the workshop, I proved that people were interested in learning this material, which then meant I was able to sell this product very easily. And virtually on autopilot, this product made me over 1,200 pounds a month for the first two years, for the first 24 months. So basically it paid for my mortgage for the first couple of years before I came out with other products and updated it. That's what one good, well-researched product can do for you if you just follow the strategy of selling a workshop and turning that into a product. Anyway, I digress. Um, so there are three parts to making that product. There's recording it, there's editing it, and then there is publishing or manufacturing it so you can actually, you know, turning it into a box set, etc., so it can physically be shipped to the customer. So recording it, We've already discu uh, 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 discussed one way. Simple MP3 recorder, lapel microphone, boom, you're off to the races. At the end of this video, I'm gonna give you an even faster, easier, lower cost way that you can get your first audio CD product done, printed, published, uh, and available for purchase in less than one hour. So stay tuned, okay? So that's the recording issue handled. Two strategies for the recording issue. One we just covered, one we'll cover at the end. Let's talk about editing. Here it is, ready? This is everything you need to know about editing. Don't do it, okay? 
in layman's terms, even though you can, uh, there's fantastic free software, which I, or we here, or occasionally at my office, we use called Audacity. Just Google it. It's a free bit of software that allows you to edit MP3 files. It's, um, if you can use Word document, you know, if you can copy and paste, etc., you can use Audacity. You can highlight stuff. You can hit delete and delete bits off your MP3 file. It's very, very, even a complete technical idiot can use Audacity. Isn't that right, Max? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, 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 no, it's very simple to use, very easy to use, and um, um, that's fine, except why edit? if you don't need to. Because the problem with editing is, if you record something with the intention of editing, you've then got to go through it all painstakingly to create the edit. Why not just get clear on what you're going to say and get it right and be OK with minor imperfections and just get on with it? Take, for example, this show. It's done in one take. It's done in one take. Now, of course, in the first few shows, if I stumbled in the first sentence or two, um, in fact, on this take, in the first sentence or two, Max pointed out that the um, the, the lighting was positioned wrong and it, it made me look even more hideous than I do right now uh, with my cold so I uh, we stopped it 30 seconds in and started again but the rest of the show is done in one take if you condition yourself to just do it in one take it's easier better you perform better if you do it with the attitude that you could record it again you can end up taking doing what I did in the studio and taking 15 to 20 takes unnecessary that's why doing it in a workshop format is so valuable, because you're delivering to the audience, they're there. So you've got to deliver to the audience, even if you're um and er, you deliver it great enough for them, it's great enough for your product, at least in the early days. Get started and keep moving. Now, that's the editing fact, so let's talk about publishing. There are two routes that you could go down in publishing. You can self-publish, which I'm about to show you in a second, so get ready, Max. Um, or you can uh, you can outsource it. I'm going to show you both ways in this video. So Max is going to unplug the camera. Let me take you behind the scenes into part of the Dan Bradbury offices into the product creation winter wonderland. And uh, let's have a look around so I can show you how we print it in-house, should you so wish. So go on, Maximus. Off we go. Try not to trip me up or trip yourself up even more. I feel like I'm on MTV Cribs. Welcome to my home. Let's shut this door, because nobody's allowed behind this door. This is where we keep the pigs, me and Kevin. So let's just come into this corner. So let me just give you a, a very quick rundown. First of all, we've got um, the product that we carry in stock down here, already made up. There's a few layers deep, different types of products, etc. I think there's 30 or 40 products we've got now. I'm not sure exactly where, but there's an idea. We've got the blank, um, blank cases that these come in. We've got the blank CDs, we've got blank DVDs over here, and um, we've got all the inserts, which are, you know, just inserts for the products that we make, which we just get done at our local printers, we, we use our local call quick. All this stock, by the way, the, the CDs, the cases, etc., comes from a company called River Pro Audio. I'll put the link below uh, the video, but it's riverproaudio.co.uk. Here on this shelf, we've got all the master discs. Um, so when we, uh, when you copy the MP3 uh, to your computer from your Eddie Roll, you can then using iTunes or Windows Media Player burn those onto a master disc. So literally, um, if you look at these, these are just blank CDs like these ones that have just been burned on a computer. Oh, I'm going to break that. Burned on a computer to create a master disc, and then from that we can do the duplication process. So let me put that back, otherwise Max won't be a happy man. So let's come over here into this corner. I apologize for the very bad Christmas music. Anyway, um, two things. So once you've got your master disc, you need to be able to duplicate them. Over here, we have a CD duplicator, also purchased from River Pro Audio, um, which is a fantastic company, does all kind of stock. And basically, it's 10 or 11 uh, DVD drives stacked on top of each other. You put your master disc on the, in the top one, you put all your um, blank discs on the ones lower down, and literally you close them all, and it will literally copy the master disc to the other 11. You've now got 11 burned discs. Make sense? With the files on. But you need to make them look pretty. You need to be able to print on them. Two ways that you can do this. One is, um, if you go to a major stationery supplier, you'll find that they do uh, labels 
that you can print on a regular printer, a regular normal printer, and then you can peel the labels off and stick them onto the CDs. A slightly better option is to buy a CD printer such as this one or this one. Uh, by the way, the CD towers are typically four or five hundred pounds. The low end CD printers are again four or five hundred pounds, and this one, because it's slightly heavier weight, uh, it costs a few thousand pounds. You're feeding your blank CDs, it prints straight onto the disc, so you can have discs like this, you can have photos, images, etc. That is how you do it in house. There's loads of other junk in here, but that kind of just gives you a, a very brief overview. So let's, uh, ooh, let's go back through into the studio. Nobody sees in the pig star. Close that door. All right. Get yourself back on the tripod, Max. So that's a very brief guide while Max is fanning around and getting himself sorted. Are we still recording? Yep. Uh, that's a very brief guide to publishing it yourself. Many of you won't want to do that. The only reason we do that is because it's more cost effective when you're shipping in high volume. So one of Max's roles here is to uh, print, create, and ship out the products, and it gives us more control around it. But if you're just getting started out, there is a much better, quicker, easier way. Um, and that is outsource. I'm going to give you an amazing, tremendous resource okay, that you can use. Uh, there's loads of different options, but I'm going to give you just one that's simple, easy. And this is part of your one hour action plan. So within an hour of this video finishing, you can have your first product available uh, uh, first CD product, a product like this, a simple one CD product um, where uh, uh, it can be, it's printed, it's got a nice design, it's got a nice insert, the disc inside, this has actually got multiple CDs, but the disc inside is printed and got the labels or the graphics on that you want, and it's online and people can go there right now, pay with a credit card, and the money will go straight into your PayPal account. Are you ready? Write this down. Go on, get a, get a pen. Go on. Ready? Kunarki.com. That's K-U-N-A-K-I. Kunarki.com. This is a simple self-publishing website where you can go, you can um, uh, upload an MP3. You can also upload graphics if you wish, or you can use their online tool to design the graphics for your insert and for the CD itself. And they will, uh, they will help you design, they will print and publish and ship the single CD sets to you for just one dollar each. One dollar for, imagine if this just had one CD in, one dollar for full color printing on the disc, full color um, uh, inserts, and you can do that as, D, uh, 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 as CDs. I think you can also do it as DVDs as well now. Very simple, very easy. It costs nothing. You've got a minimum order quantity of one. They'll even drop ship it direct to your customers. And they'll also give you a web page, a private web page for you on their website where pe you can give people the URL. You can control what it says on the page. You can set the price of the CD. People can go to that page, see your CD, read what you've got to say, click sign up using um, their credit card, and they'll process the money and put the money straight into your PayPal account minus a very, very small commission. Amazing website, kunaki, K-U-N-A-K-I dot com. Check it out. Um, don't try saying that when you're drunk. Um, so, I have a challenge for you. Dum, dum, dum. Uh, the challenge of the month is, uh, or for this show is, I want you to get your products made. Look. I could spend a weekend and some gurus do charge you thousands of pounds to share what I've just shared in this five or 10 minute video. It really can be that simple to create your first uh, money making product. I've given you the seminar route with a lapel mic and this. I've given you uh, kunaki.com which you can upload your MP3 or side note, extra example, you could do a teleconference. I use a teleconference service like uh, Pow wow, uh, called Pow Wow Now, Pow Wow Now. .co.uk. Um, it costs 50 quid a month uh, and you can cancel. There are other other conference services are available. In fact, there's free teleconference call.com. You can do a free conference call, record the call, get the MP3, upload that to Kunaki. You don't need to buy an MP3 recorder. You don't need to buy a lapel mic. You just need a conference call line where you can record it where by typing in your telephone keypad. 
So on Powwow Now, for example, which costs 50 quid a month, you start, dial hash 81 in your keypad and boom, it'll start the recording. Hash 81 at the end of the recording and boom, it'll stop recording. You can go to the Powwow Now website, download the MP3, and lo and behold, you've got an MP3 which you can upload to Kunaki. Okay, so the, here's your challenge, is to create a CD product and get it on sale. Um, and uh, what I'll say for fun is, anybody that creates their first product and gets it on sale within uh, a week of this video being published, I will give you a hundred pounds of DB credit to go for any Dan Bradbury product or program. If you get it published within a week, not products you've already got made, but as a result of seeing this video, comment beneath this video, let us know what you've done, let us know what you've created, and I will give you £100 in Dan Bradbury cash. That's way better than real cash, because it'll put even more cash in your pocket. Just comment below, give us a link to you on the Kanaki site, so we can see where you got it published, and we will send you bucket loads of fantastic products that are gonna really help you grow your business with your £100 of credit. Um, so final comment for this video, Comment below. Um, I'm happy to do more videos on this. This was a bit fast and furious deliberately. I just wanted to show you guys, it ain't difficult. It's very, very easy once you know how. If you've got more specific questions, comment below and I'll handle them in a future video. That's it for now. See you next time on Dan Bradbury TV.